Hello everyone and welcome back to another beautiful day in the world of Feed the Beast Beyond. I'm BPD and I want to thank you so much for joining me today. So I was just checking the uh, the setup here. Sometimes they kind of, uh, you know, stop responding and you have to recheck them, like reload them or whatever. Because that's basically what this is. It just loads the dimensions so that the chunk loader does its good old job so we can keep getting all our fun resources. Um, one of these setups, the whole dimension with the quarry setup, uh, it's something I would have liked to do for a couple more resources, like namely, of course, yellowite or yellowium or whatever it's called. But unfortunately, the uh, material absorber, it, it wouldn't read the yellowium or yellowite or whatever it was, so I couldn't do that. But I have a solution for that. I have a solution for that. So um, last time we saw each other, I had just made a... Uh, like made a, a big reactor reactor, extreme reactor, whatever they're called nowadays. And I looked back on it after uh, after the episode, after I put it up, I like rewatched it. And, you know, kept kind of playing for a little bit and kept looking at it. And man, I had to say, I was pretty disappointed. I'm not going to lie. I, um, I looked at it and I'm like, that is just not... Like the Silo 2, I mean the Silo, I unveiled the Silo, which I figured out the name for, by the way. It's called a Coolant Tower, in case any of you guys were curious, which you probably weren't, but now you know. Um, but yeah, it just wasn't, like, it wasn't quite up to par, you know what I mean? It didn't have the scale that I was really looking for. It looked, it was just piddly. It was sad. It was just a small little baby reactor, and it was, it was just so bad. So I kind of changed things up. I created a larger coolant tower here, and then when we have our side building over there. So I also Googled, uh, just in case you were wondering, I Googled nuclear power plants to find it, kind of find their setup. And they're usually pretty simple, like a pretty square, you know, factory slash office building and a, you know, cellar with some other stuff. So that's kind of what I went with here. I'm going to do the building up a little bit more, give it some like accentuations, like an antenna or so and stuff like that. But the big thing here, the most important thing was I also frame skips. I don't know if anybody can tell me what I can do to prevent that frame skip from happening. It only happens in this game and I don't know why. But anyway, the big stuff, the good stuff here is it's in the doorway and I kind of switched things up and oh man, look at this. This is our new <laughs> reactor. Now that, the last the title of the last video is that's a big reactor, but no. No, this right here, I feel like that was clickbait and I feel bad, so I apologize. This right here, though, is the real big reactor. So this is roughly a chunk big. It's actually 15 by 15 because I left space over here uh, for all of our power ports. Uh, power ports? That sounded weird, but it was correct. Anyway, and because uh, I want to be able to just load this chunk, like keep this chunk chunk loaded and still have the power ports, not have them like up against the chunk and then have to load two chunks, you know what I mean? So this is a 15 by 15 by 32 reactor, right? And uh, the last design that I did, you know, the coolant, it was getting too hot and I wasn't sure why. And actually, one of the comments down below, uh, in my response, like when I responded to his comment, it made it sound like I had no idea what he's talking about because I really didn't. But Pike Perch, uh, I was wondering about the coolant and, you know, kind of have it done. And he mentioned that you have to have coolant, like this layer of coolant on the outside. You can't just have your reactor control rod up against the wall because it's really not going to do. Basically, all of these, like the adjacent blocks have to be free for coolant. So th that is the most effective way. So thank you, Pike Perch. Uh, although I didn't understand what you were saying when you, when I responded, I did gather it. And I, uh, you know, after looking on the wiki as well, I was like, Oh, that's what he meant. It all makes sense now. But yeah, so this is huge. I don't know how much power it gives. I haven't filled it up yet. I had to, Oh man, so many buckets of gelid cryothium, like thousands of buckets and placing that stuff. It's literally like the worst it's literally like placing sand but even worse kind of oh it was just it was it was such a bad time it took me hours like at least eight hours to get all of that jelly cryothium into that reactor and it was insane so we have plenty of blocks of yellorium this is about five thousand yellorium and i'm actually still not sure if it's going to be enough to put in and it's night time so i'm gonna go ahead and sleep too oh one other thing i'm coming at you with a lot of information here but there's also like a bug or something i don't know if it's like something i placed because i haven't updated the mod pack or anything but now whenever i use my sleep sleeping bag it like i get stuck and i have to get kicked from the game so i don't know if you guys are having that issue as well or what exactly caused it i don't i'm not 100 percent sure 
but it just started happening after I was over here. I had to, like, it happened a couple times. That's why I have to use a regular bed. But anyway, let's see how much fuel this thing can take. So, uh, I like I said, I don't know if this is going to be enough, but we will try. Come on. Oh, it ate all of that. How full is it? Do you see how much? Oh, it's so close. 78% full. Oh, okay. So I have the uh, thing over there at the other base getting yellowrites or yellowrium or whatever. I, I, I'm I going to say yellowrite. Yeah. Well, let me just look. Yellowrium. Okay. Anyway, I have it getting that stuff. So we're going to go ahead and set up a couple other things while it's doing that so I don't have to do a cut. I might still have to. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab all of these... Uh, capacitor banks. I made 99 of them. So these guys are going to go in here and this is going to be basically our huge power bank for actually I don't want to do it. Uh cuz whatever the line is, but I don't know how far over it's going to go. Okay, never mind. Whatever. The line's going to be over here. All right. 3 4 5 6. Is that 7? 1 2 3 4 5 6 7. I think it is. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, it is seven. So we're going to go ahead and place all of these all the way down. And this is going to give us a nice, large kind of RF power bank for the city. Because that's what's going to happen. All the power for the city is essentially going to come from this place. There's not going to be, you know, other buildings generating their own power necessarily. Uh, maybe I'll do like... Uh, emergency generators in case you know the power hits zero percent those things will come on and that'll be kind of interesting but oh see it's doing it here I think I can change that though to make it blank but yeah so all the power is going to come from this central location so we need a nice large power bank to provide all that power without causing you know any real issue and having a you know a big enough buffer to keep things going without without you know basically I don't want to have to keep an eye on my power in a sense I want everything to kind of run nice and smooth uh, I don't want to have to keep an eye on my reactor that's going to be set up with uh, redstone for now I'm still not a hundred percent sure if I'm gonna try to do like automation with open computers. It's a lot of fun, but man, is it tedious. And oh, there's just so much stuff to do that I don't know if I will be able to add in like working on programs to automate all my stuff. And Redstone is just so much easier, right? So we'll probably stick with Redstone. But uh, yeah, our so we're not going to have to worry about ever fueling it. Hopefully it should be a, you know, nice, simple closed circuit type system and it should be relatively seamless and with this buffer with that kind of reactor you need and with that reactor as well you can't just have one of these or some of these you need a lot of them because the amount of power that that thing is going to produce is going to you have to make sure that it, there's plenty of time in between the off point and the on point which i'm going to do the same as I have for the magmatic engines, it's going to be 60, 90. So when it hit 60%, it's going to click it on and I'm going to have to hope because I don't want it to like turn on and off every like five seconds or whatever, because that kind of defeats the purpose. So I want to make sure that I have that kind of time correctly. There's our wall of power banks though. So this is going to hold a grand total of, uh, I don't know what the, oh, there it is. 2.4 billion RF and the max output is 2.45 million RF per tick so that is a lot that's a lot of that's a lot of power and that's a lot of uh, a lot of storage which is really what we're looking for all right so now before I really get started with the uh, other thing I kind of really want this reactor to get fully powered here it's so close but I say it's so close See, 70%, I added 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, like 10 stacks. So that's going to need, I'm going to need about another 3 stacks of Yellorium, which is like 9 stacks of ore. Or maybe more than that. Ugh. Ugh, so much farming. 
Oh man, let me tell you, this project has taken a lot longer just for that reason of like waiting to auto craft stuff because obviously I didn't craft any of them by, by hand. What am I? Some sort of caveman? It was all auto crafted so I had to wait for the system to do that. But I think now what we're going to do here is we're going to wait. I'm going to gather more Yellorium and then we're going to fill this react. Oh man, it's just so mighty and so, so blue. But well, we're going to wait for the Elorium, get that reactor fully powered, and then get this uh, kicking right back up. See you guys soon. All right, and we are back. So uh, the thing's not 100% full yet. It, I just put another stack in there, and that got us about another 8%. So we need 14%. need another two stacks or so before it's full. But uh, I don't have uh, really that kind of time to wait. It took me about an hour to even get that much. And uh, hopefully I have a couple more things getting yellowite i think that's what the ore is called right yeah yellowite and then that's going to be getting um you know hopefully that's going to be getting more but we're going to finish up the uh setup here so uh as much as we can anyway all right so for yellow or yellowite yellorium we are going to be using uh i don't think i need any of this stuff uh actually i think i need that yeah we are going to be using the um, environmental tech uh, or generator deal. Okay, so that's already good. Let me grab one Yellorium as well. So I need that for a filter. Okay, so yeah, we're going to be using the um, environmental tech or miner. We're going to be using the max ore miner that you can get. It's going to be higher than the one that we have at our other base. Uh, actually, I might have to take that down. So um, let's go ahead and get this thing set up. So what we need to do, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So this is where we're going to put our dealie right here. Give me one second. Pardon me, had an itch in my throat. All right, so that's where we set up our controller okay so now hopefully i think it should be good oh one more thing that i'm just going to do real quick is we need to dig this straight down to bedrock so let's go ahead and do that down we go down we go down we go come on come on oh there's lava there that's that's something we want to avoid um let's see where's the lava hmm all right, let me get some blocks here. These should be fine. We'll go here, 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 here. Can you be put there? Okay, there we go. And then we'll do here. Last one, there we go. Uh, that didn't quite do it. Okay. And some more. Jeez, this is more difficult than I anticipated. Uh, all right. And let me just dunk down here. This might be easier. Let's go there, here, and here. Okay, crack that up. All right, good. Perfect. So we have a straight shot down to bedrock. That's what we need. And now we take our inventory and clean it out. Ooh, one piece of yellorium or yellorite. We're going to go ahead and use that probably. Can't let that go to waste. All right, so I think that's everything... Oh, actually, that's kind of an issue. I'll have to make this room. Oh, that ruins everything. Hmm. No, no. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think the chest has to be directly on top. Uh, okay, that's fine. We'll do... Take this. Uh, we'll put our Yellorium block there, and then we'll put that there, and we will dig out kind of this area nice and slow all right let's do this and this and there and place you back we'll go one two three that's two and three and there we go perfect okay so that should work then we'll take that back I set up our wireless thing so I can do this now. That was one thing I hadn't set up for the longest time. All right, and now we should be able to set this bad boy up. 
Just got to hold the right clicky button. All right. Is it going to set up fully? Am I in the way? Is this... Oh, it's not over enough. Okay. Oh, dang it. That means everything's off. Okay. Perfect. Beautiful. Wonderful. Let's see if this... Oh, this doesn't break dirt. Fun fact. Does not break dirt. All right. And I think that actually should be good. We should finally be able to create this beast. All right. Come on, give me the little thing that says we're good. Give it to me. I'm still holding right. Am I missing stuff? There we go. There we go. And give it a right click. There, finally. Okay, so it is crafted. Let's go ahead and fill in the gaps. I'm definitely going to redo the floor as well. It's not always going to be this. But it looks like this is now going to be embedded in the floor unless... Uh, like off camera, I feel like making this thing a whole one taller, but then I got to make more capacitor banks and you know things happen. But for now, we have this bad boy. So now, what we're also going to do, uh, we actually need a couple things. Let's see, it's yellow, yuck, yellow, right? Oh. Okay, what can this be processed in? Oh, you. It can be processed in a pulverizer to get two and then f smelted to get, okay, so two with a pulverizer. This gives two with a segment with a chance for cyanide. I'm about that, I am about that. All right, so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. We're gonna do uh, yeah, we'll do a sag mill. So let's go ahead and make one of those. Sag, we'll need one. Okay, and then we'll make a capacitor. We need uh, double layer. I think it's this one. We'll make that. Yeah. Okay, so we need one of those. Um, what was it? A sag mill. I th that's already done. Yep, there we go. And capacitor okay so that's going to take some time all right oh look kind of just switched hands like that fancy so now this chest goes on top of here okay and we need um we'll put an item conduit here and Hmm, so how are we going to do this? Item conduit there. Then where do I take the item conduit? See, that's a problem. I don't want it to be ugly. Because I hate it when things are ugly, but I think it's going to be ugly. Huh. We take our item conduit. And... What to do? see we put a trash can here you know what actually well how many more item conduits do I have none in there item we'll make another stack okay so get some more item conduits and we will drag this conduit maybe we'll give it some uh, like some sort of really okay Maybe we'll give it some sort of like facade or something to make it look like wiring, perhaps. And where are our chunk boundaries? Okay, cool. So then we'll take this and we'll bring it over to here. Okay. That's good. And then down. Need more item conduits. Item. Oh, and we also need these speed upgrades. Okay, and then this will go here and here. We need a sagma, which we have. Okay, and uh, the other one's a trash can. Okay, and we will put... Oh, no. My yellow right. Oh, give me, give me. Dang it, they took it. Okay, hang on, hang on. We got this. We need a yellow... Dang it. I threw the other one in there. Oh, no, that was too fast. There we go. 
All right, so we will give this a filter. It'll be insert. And this just gets yellow, right? Everything else goes in the garbage because we don't need it. Okay, and now this gets extract redstone on. All right, so the last thing that this setup should need is power. So, oh, and the upgrades. We're going to go ahead and give it all of them. Okay, now power. Take our power conduit here, and this is just going to come straight across. Also, still kind of ugly. Oh, actually, it's probably... Hmm. Uh, get there and there, and then maybe I'll just do it like that. Okay, and then we'll have this go in like that for now, and that'll be good. All right, so we have a kind of setup here, and yeah, it's not like the most aesthetically pleasing. Cables are everywhere and all that nonsense, but, uh, you know, hopefully I'll fix it. And if not, I mean, I'll make it look better for sure, Just even just a little bit. So, these frame skips, man, driving me crazy. Driving me crazy. Yellow yeah, right. Let's get that. How many more we got? Six. That's a stack. Let's go ahead and throw that in the machine. Uh, in you go. And it should be like 80 or 94. 90. Oh, I was so close. Point one off. So now we just need one more stack of that. I think I'm pretty sure everything else is good to go. The only thing we're going to do is put, uh, we'll probably have inputs here at the bottom. And I'm kind of waiting to do the inputs to see how much power this produces. Because each cable can transfer 20,000 RF per tick. Right? So, if this produces like, I mean, I think it's going to, we can get up to 200,000 RF per tick. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 200,000 RF per tick pulled out of here right now. I can add another kind of wall of power taps over here. Since this is also, as you see, within the same chunk, I uh, did that on purpose, of course. And uh, just in case this thing produces more than 200,000 RF, RF per tick, because there's a very high possibility that it will. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't remember the last time I made a reactor like this. I don't remember the last time I made one that big. I think I have, but it's been a while. Oh, and the last thing. So... What your reactor is going to do once it's, uh, you know, as it's going along in its process is it's going to create waste. And the waste is called cyanite. Now, in the past, you used to have to have a thing called a cyanite reprocessor and all that good stuff to turn the cyanite into usable, um, what's called plutonium. okay? Now, for that, they've changed it. All you have to do now is craft this thing. So, if there is a crafter... Uh, let's see, we got a Ender IO crafter. I might go with that, I guess. RF Tools crafter, analog craft. We'll go with the Ender IO crafter. Um, oh man, Z Logic controllers are kind of a pain. If I don't have any, I'm not doing it. Z. Oh, I have 14. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Need a chassis. And what was the other thing? A piston, I think? No, a crafting bench. Crafting. All right. Grab one of these. Cool. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a crafter. Now, how does this thing work? Uh, do you do like... Okay, cool. So, we'll, we'll take this. Does it use power? It does use power. Oh. 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 Double miss, all the misses, all the terrible mouse clicks. Okay, so then this will go... Um, we'll put you right here. Okay. So, no power. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's no power. Uh, that was pretty good, right? Um, this will go... I think there's fine. Yeah. Actually... Hmm. I'll think about it. No. Hmm. 
what I might want to do is take this and put it over here actually so the cyanite reprocessor is going to output uh, it's going to output here and then we can put a item conduit in there like that yeah so it'll go in here and then power will come into the side and then it'll go like that okay so this will be insert this will be extract this will be extract and this will be insert and now we will take some I have some uh, cyanite ooh I only have 13 bunch of dust though huh yes yeah, some not much we take this and we go like that okay show recipes buffering okay so that should work everything should be good to go as far as that's concerned perfect the last thing we need the last piece of the puzzle is yellow right and we don't have anywhere near enough but it is perfectly fine oh well, the last thing we're gonna need to do is take some cable you know I'll wait I'll wait I'll wait and then uh, when once we get cuz I don't I really like I have I have something against turning this thing on when it's not at full power I feel like it won't do it justice so I will wait and I will gather more Yellorium and all that good stuff. And uh, I will see you guys when we have a completely full reactor. Alright, so we have a little bit more... Then a stack of yellowite or yellowium, I always forget it, in our inventory here. This should be what we need. There we go. So we are full. Ha, ha, ha. Success. Look at this. Okay, so now the only thing left to do is we'll go ahead and crank it on. Right? Uh, we'll just give it a, a quick activate. Look at, look. At, oh, oh no. Oh. Okay, stop, stop. This produces so much power. Oh, that was over 300,000 RF a per a tick. Now we're going to take this and it's going to connect. Um, huh. It's going to connect like so. And it's going to emit signal when storage is less than. Wait. Don't emit signal when it's less than 60%. So I got it figured out. Oh, wait. Do I have it figured out? Hmm. I thought I had it figured out. So. Wait. No, I didn't. I didn't at all have it figured out. No. Now the reactor's off. And then... No. No, I didn't. I had it right the definite first time, which means I rewired everything for no good reason. Uh, let me disable this. I'm pretty sure anyway. Whoa. I'm just going to go ahead and pick a couple of these things up. That was a little weird. So now it's going to emit a signal. The reactor should be off. I think I've had it right like the whole time then. That makes me kind of sad. Okay, so the reactor's off. And this is set p to uh, toggle reactor on off or set to input or set from signal. So when there's a redstone signal, oh, we need to, nope, we need to disable this. So when there's a redstone signal, it should turn the reactor on and the reactor or the redstone signal will pop up when the reactor is at less than 60%, which will not happen for a while you know i think that's actually going to do it i could cut and like see show you guys you know how it works like when it turns on but uh you know i'm sure i'm pretty confident in myself it's not like i've messed up at all today or anything or in the past so you know i'm sure it works perfectly fine that is going to do it for us though we are actually out of time it has been a blast we finally got things going like i said this should be kind of a closed circuit system hopefully it shouldn't ever you know that's one thing we're also gonna have to keep an eye on is if this 
you know, if this thing ever runs out of fuel, because that will be that will be an issue. It's currently getting fuel right now, obviously through the um, the processor. So the items are going in, which is good, 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 good. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the awesome new reactor and the new uh, cooling tower and whatnot. Um, next on the agenda, I'm not, you know, I have a couple ideas. I'm not 100% sure, though. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If there's anything you guys want to see, uh, you know, first, as far as the city is concerned. If there's certain buildings you would like to see first. I have to pretty this place up and, uh, you know, think about what to do next. I need some ideas. Help me out. But, um... Uh, I think that's it. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I'm always forgetting something. So that's going to do it for us. Thank you guys so much once again for joining me. Uh, I hope you did enjoy yourselves because I definitely did. And um, until I see you guys again, have a good one.